Hi, in the last class, we have discussed about electric symbols and electric circuit. Today, we will be discussing about what is an electric current? How do we express electric current? These are the topics will be covered during this session. Define the electric current, direction of conventional current, how to measure current, types of current, define voltage, difference between potential difference and EMF. What are electric charges? There are two types of charges, positive charges called as protons and negative charges we call it as electrons. When these charges are flow through the circuit, the current is produced. Electric charges are measured in coulombs. How do electrons flow? Electrons flows from higher potential to lower potential region. What do we call this flow of electrons? We call it as electric current. So what is an electric current? Electric current is the rate of flow of electric charges in a circuit. If a net charge Q flows across any cross section of a conductor in time T, then the current I can be expressed as Q divided by T, that is the rate of flow of charges. So Q, the electric charges are measured in coulombs, time measured in seconds, and the unit for current is here, call it as ampere, represented by capital letter A. So we can define one ampere as one coulomb of charge per one second. So one ampere can be defined as the flow of one coulomb of charge per second. What is conventional current? Electrons were not known at the time when the phenomenon of electricity was first observed. Historic physicists did not know about atoms and electrons when they created the rules for electricity. So electric current was considered to be the flow of positive charges and the direction of flow of positive charges was taken to be the direction of electric current. In which direction does the current flow? Conventional current flows from positive terminal of a cell to negative terminal of a cell. And electron current flows from negative terminal of a cell to positive terminal of a cell. How to measure current? Current can be measured using a meter. The SI unit of current is ampere. Smaller quantities of currents are measured in milliampere or in microampere. One ampere is 1000 milliampere. There are two types of electric current. The first one is alternating current and second one is direct current. So we also call it as AC and DC. Direct current is also called unidirectional current. It flows only in one particular direction. But, but alternating current, it completes the positive half cycle during a specific time interval. In the next time interval, it completes the negative half cycle. It is sinusoidal in nature. So what is the difference between alternating current and direct current? As we already discussed, the charged particle can flow in both direction, but in direct current, the electric current flows only in one particular direction. This is the alternating current symbol, and this is the direct current symbol. And Alternating current flows in the bidirection position and it is sinusoidal in nature. DC flows only in one direction. The main source of DC currents are solar cells, batteries, etc. So, what makes the electric charges to flow? The voltage of a battery or a cell is a measure of the energy or push it gives the charges in the current. 
Voltage is measured in volts using a voltmeter. A one volt cell gives one joule of energy to each column of charge. That means a 12 volt cell gives 12 joules of energy to each column of charge. This is 1.5 volt dry cell and this is 9 volt dry cell. This is 12 volt cab battery. Voltmeter must be connected in parallel to the electric circuit as shown in figure. That is positive of a cell connected to positive of voltmeter and negative of a cell connected to the negative of the voltmeter, etc. For flow of charges in a conducting metallic wire, the gravity of course has no role to play. The electrons move only if there is a difference of electric pressure called the potential difference along the conductor. This difference of potential may be produced by a battery consisting of one or more electric cells. That means electron is always flows from higher potential region to the lower potential region. The difference in electric potential between two points in a circuit is known as potential difference. Potential difference is same as voltage. Electric potential is nothing but the work done to move a unit charge from one point to another point. Therefore, the electric potential between two charges is given by work done divided by charge. V is measured in voltage or volt. W is measured in joules and charge is measured in coulombs. Therefore, one volt is equal to one joule divided by one coulomb. The SI unit of electric potential is volt and it is named after a famous scientist, Alexandro Volta. He is an Italian physicist. Therefore, one volt is the potential difference when one joule of work is done to move a charge of one coulomb from one point to the other. Electromotive force is nothing but the amount of energy supplied by the electric source such as battery or cell to each unit of electric charge. So that means electromotive force is same as voltage. It is also measured by a volt meter. It is represented by script capital E and the measuring unit is same as voltage that is volt. Till now we have learned that the potential difference and voltage are same. Is there any difference between voltage and EMF? The difference in potential may be produced by a battery consisting of one or more cells. The chemical action within the cell generates the potential difference across the terminals of the cell. When the cell is connected to a conducting circuit, the potential difference sets the charges in motion within the conductor and the electric current is produced. So potential difference or voltage causes the current to flow between two points and EMF maintains potential difference between the two electrodes. So what you have learned? The electric current is the rate of flow of electric charges. Direction of conventional current is from positive terminal to negative terminal of a cell. Current is measured using a meter. Direct current is unidirectional and alternating current flows in both directions. Voltage is nothing but push the charges in a circuit. Potential differences cause the current to flow between two points. EMF maintains potential difference between two electrodes. Thank you.